His Excellency Stephen Kalonzo Msioka tafadhali tafadhali alafu ndio nirudishie governor Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Hebu tusalia tusalimia nane mahali tulipo. Eh. Hebu enweni tena tunajua tumechoka. Nitasoma tu from the book of Ecclesiastes. What is it in uh, what what do you call Ecclesiastes in uh, eh? Muhubiri kwa Kimasai? Eh. Ndio hiyo. Uh, uh, at chapter 4 at chapter 4 mambo haya ni ya kweli and you know the word of god is true again i saw all the oppressions that are done under the sun and behold the tears of the oppressed and they had no one to comfort them On the side of the oppressors there was power. Yes. There is power. And there was no one to comfort them. If you looked at um, Mr. Apili <laughs> and I thought the dead were already dead more fortunate than those who are actually alive. mambo magumu hayo but the word of god is true and i want to join other leaders kwa kusema asante kwa mama bishop na wabiri wote wa Kajiado county kwa maajabu haya ambao umetufanyia sio sisi viongozi ama wananchi wa Kajiado bali pia Kenya nzima Kenya hivi sasa hivi yanaangazia mambo haya tena makuja kwa wingi zaidi mjipigie makofi and as soba pogin eh kajado ni kajado and the governor lenku a man as i know him mcha ambaye anamcha mungu mimi huo lenku tulikuwa wakati ule ndugu raila 2013 nilikuwa na uchungu kwa mimi kumbe hesabu ilikuwa inafanyika sijui hoteli hotel na huyu lengo alikuwa anafanya huko. Tulikuwa tunaamini yeye ndiye alitunyima haki yetu. Lakini nimekuja kumuelewa lengo. Hawezi kuibia mtu. Na nyinyi watu wa Kajiado, we came here during the swearing in and I can tell you you have a leader. Humble leader. Hawezi kuleta aibu kwa ndugu Raila. Huyu waturukana wa, wa sikuepo. Lakini hata mahali alipo If he knows as God in heaven anajua alifanya makosa that is not leadership simply kwa sababu hana makaratasi anaona Kenya Kenya kwanza itamwandama because he lacks the papers tutakutetea sisi ni wakili <laughs> lakini usiende kuaibisha inji nzima na kuaibisha jamii ya waturukana ambao ni jamii ambao tunawajua kwamba wao ni watu wa azimio Mashika asanteni sana. Nashukuruni sana kwa maombi juu ya what is happening in the Middle East. Maajabu hayo. Niliona ndugu Raila, the whole secretary general of the UN, Guterres, he was actually doing picketing. <laughs> Alienda kwa mpaka wa Egypt na na Gaza. Akasimama pale akahutubia, akahutubia zima unaona hii malori hii Hey, mimi nataka ya, ya funguliwe wale watu pande hilo wanahitaji chakula huku kuna nini the world is at a crossroads kwa hivyo kuombea middle east ni jambo la maana sana and so ya mambo haya mimi i don't want to talk much to be honest najihisi hapa kajiado niko nyumbani na mimi nafurahi nafurahi kwamba ndugu huyu lengo mimi i make a clear mind nikiona huyu mtu anafaa mimi na msupport that's why tukasema wiper tutakuwa na governor wana wiper asanteni sana
because you didn't the wrong do the wrong thing at a time like this lengo angekuwa kama mwenzake huyo aturukana because watu wana hofu wana hofu wanaleta hofu wanaleta hali ya ya, ya kutisha wanatisha tisha watu wewe utafunguliwa mashtaka haya gavana wenu hapa anaweza akashtakiwa lakini ameonyesha msimamo tumshukuru Mungu kwa sababu ya governor lengu and we we'll stand with you na watu wa kajiado eh kwanza to, ra- to stand for the Maasai rights tunajio jamii tangu wakati wa ukoloni ukielekea upande wa machako school kwa mfano eh kilema mbogo ilikuwa na iko na jina ya Maasai ndonyo sabuk wa Maasai ilikuwa kila mahali wakapokonywa waka, wakafanywa maajabu na wanakaliwa lakini Mungu ni mwema today sura ile ya ustadi sura ya heshma inamilikiwa na Wamasai nikivali kipatua hii nimevalia hii i can't leave it siwachi hii sijui shuka ngapi nimebeba ina hii wangapi kwa, wakamba wakikuyu wajaluo wa kila mtu mjiulize when you do gospel music wangapi wanafanya gospel music proudly kama hawa wa Masai ambao wana, wanaonyesha ustamaduni wetu that our culture is not paganism our culture you know you can worship god in the way amekuumba so mimi wa Masai asanteni kabisa asholing because mmeonyesha msimamo wa ajabu to preserve our culture yale mengine cause mother atakuja kuongea tumekaa sana she you know she is quite steady in a number of things she was actually suggesting like uh, Eugene is saying we go to the counties but if we go to the counties we must get there by 9 o'clock kwa ikiwa ni wakati wa kuja kwa nisani ya 12 tuko hapa so but today is phenomenal absolutely phenomenal what is happening in mavoko ni jambo la ajabu wakati wa swearing in wa yule ambaye kwa kwa mamlaka mwenzake hapo in front of the whole world almost swearing never again shall there be demolitions <laughs> na hata juzi alikimbia huko asema zwok demolitions karibu kwake karatina asema hii mtu ametoka wapi you cannot demolish at the same time watu wa mavoko zaidi ya familia wote ikijumlishwa zaidi ya watu 30000 hawana makao sasa unity whatever the cause whatever the law how can you do that to your fellow citizens Uchungu ulioko machako sahi ni wa hali ya juu sana. Najulikane sio wakamba peke yao wako, wako pale. Kuna jamii zote wakisi, wakikuyu all of them. And the, most of them are innocent purchasers for value without notice. Without notice kwamba kuna mambo mengine mabaya ambayo yalifanyika hapa na pale. Evidence mtu anachukua savings zote anaweka kujenga nyumba anajengea watoto but surely kanisa the bishops in machakos all 5 700 of them we are with them the bishops and the pastors on thursday karibu ana hapa kwamba we know we made a mistake how do you desecrate desecrate places of worship whether churches or mosques you don't do that because the freedom of worship in the first place is guaranteed under the constitution so mume tuambia bishop baba asi asilale asinyamaze eh asinyamaze na tutanyamaza na sio raila pia tusitegemee raila peke yake tuseme wa kenya tusilale na tupige kelele na sio kupiga kelele tutapiga kelele technically tutapiga kelele zetu ina maana 
That does not mean we are lesser citizens than anybody else. Equality of the person under the law. Kwa hivyo, musiwe tunumutangojea sisi tu, Raila arudi pale. I will not allow Raila me myself arudi kwa, kwa, kwa maandamano. Let the country do it. Muna nisikia? Hello? Umesikia what I said? Yani siyo Raila kila wakati na kalonzo na pigwa tiega. I want you to know bishops and thank you so much chairman you prayed you think in the small room there you say that there are deliberate efforts kumuua raila kwa risas wakati wa maandamano na kutokana na hiyo maandamano ndio tunafanya mazungumzo if people want to go for uh, negotiations uh, national dialogue it must be that that is done in a spirit of good faith good faith imani kwamba ufichi kisu hapa nyuma kuna wengine wanaenda kuzungumza na mtu na weka kisu nyuma eh utadu wengine wana hiyo attitude utadu sisi tuko mamlakani what will you do please remember there is god in heaven and this is why you are chinda hapo wacha ni mwalike my sister mother <laughs> oh governor governor I want to talk you know i'm against protocol actually these days I, I don't people should talk wherever they are if i was talking i was going to call mother unge conclude with a vote of thanks for whatever eh thank you thank you thank you excellency thank you naomba tumpigie mheshimiwa kalonso makofi jamani ah asanteni sana viongozi wetu na marafiki zetu wetu mimi nitaongea kwa ufupi sana ili nimuite mama Martha Karua kwanza kwa njia ya kipekee nataka kuwashukuru nyinyi principals wetu Mheshimiwa Raila Odinga unakumbuka ulikuja hapo ukanishika mkono in the heat of the battle ukanibarikisha ukaniombea kura uka 